Yo people, I'm Sean from the Net Ninja and this is HTML Basics Lesson 17, What the Hell Next? <laughs> okay, so if you're anything like me, you're probably going to be sitting at home right now thinking, what the hell is this? I did not sign up to do a course which is going to teach me to make a web page as crappy as this. And I'm with you, this looks absolutely ridiculous. If I saw this on a website, I would leave within seconds. But you have to remember, all we've done so far is HTML. Raw HTML, that's it. No design whatsoever has gone into this. And remember, a website consists of a few different elements. This is just one of them. You have HTML for your structure. You have CSS for your design. You have JavaScript for your interactivity. And maybe some other programming languages. But we've just looked at HTML, which is how to structure a web page. And we've done that. We've structured it correctly. We presented our data to the user in a browser. The next steps from here would be to look at CSS and style this up, get it looking a lot, lot better. So that's exactly what we're going to do. As soon as I finish this course, I'm going to dive into creating a CSS basics course. And in there, we're going to look at the core concepts of CSS. Then we're going to apply those concepts to this website and get it looking hundreds times better. If you want to learn a little bit more about HTML first, then there's a couple of cool websites you can check out. The first one is the web platform website, and that's found at docs.webplatform.org forward slash wiki forward slash HTML. And here you're going to find tons of documentation on HTML, as well as a list of all the different elements we can pop in HTML. And if you click on one of these, we'll find out more information. Gives you the syntax at the top, um, a load of common attributes here that we can put in the tag, and the compatibility between different browsers and desktop and mobiles and it gives you a few code examples as well. So this serves as a really cool kind of reference guide if you forget anything or you just want to look up some different tags and different elements. It's a really cool website, very extensive. The next one you want to look at is html5rocks.com. And this is probably, in my eyes, not as extensive, but still really cool. It's got tons of really good tutorials on here. Um, you can search for whatever you want here or just browse through them at your leisure. Um, really cool website. I will also be doing a few extra advanced HTML courses in the future. However, for now, I think we've got enough HTML knowledge uh, to kind of build a website with and add some CSS. I prefer to go for the whole package approach rather than just focusing on one area. When we know a bit more about CSS, we can dive in and look uh, again at HTML, a few advanced concepts and go from there. So I will be doing more advanced HTML courses in the future. If you want to learn more for now, visit these websites. I'm going to get cracking on with the CSS course. If you have any questions about this course, don't forget to pop them in the comments below. I'll answer those as soon as I can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe also, and I'll see you guys in the next course.